Hey everybody, Rick King from thegamershub.net and I'm here looking at the game Mythics. Now I'm here with Algo Crunch Incorporated. Um, this is the president, CEO, man in charge, and uh, what was your name? Martin. This is Martin. Um, we got to be over here yesterday. We got to take a look at this game. I thought it was really impressive. Um, it has a lot of features that you don't really see in a lot of, uh, a lot of other collectible card games, which is what this is, uh, a digital collectible card game. Um, now, when we were talking yesterday, uh, you discussed that you have three other games currently in the App Store. We do. We have uh, Aqua Burst, Word Fusion, and Operation Save Skiz. Save Skiz. Three different genres of games. Uh, something for everybody. So three games from an independent developer is kind of a lot. Um, how did you fund those? They were all self-funded by us. It's personal projects. Something that we really love to do. Uh, it's it's our you know our ambition is just fun for us. So it's not really funding, it's not really work, it's just something we love. Right. So three self-funded projects is kind of a lot, but I know that you mentioned yesterday um, this one you're going to do a little differently. Started a Kickstarter campaign, so check that out. Um, and you started that yesterday. So let's talk about the game a little bit. Sure. So it's a, uh, it's a strategy, real-time strategy card game. Um, describe some of the elements of that. So there's a lot of things that you'll see in traditional creating card games where there's a cost, uh, there's a cost to play the cards. The cards have a health and some other things, but there's a lot of unique things which you'll find from other genres of games like uh, MMORPGs, where there's an aggro system. There is uh, different cultures. There's attackers, defenders, and healers. It's not just cards out there. It's cards that have a, a distinct purpose to play in the group, um, to play in your group. Tell me about the 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 mythics, the mythology that goes behind it, and tell me about the, the faith pools. Go ahead. I'll take this one. So the story behind mythics is that before there were any myths, any anything really, there were these beings called the mythics, and they embodied the core values of each of these myth types. We have the, the mythic of instinct, who eventually became the Greek, and they forged that storyline, and it was really based on creatures and all the different mythological beings that you can have. And then we have Celtic, which would eventually empower uh, like life and growth and just everything involving that. And uh, those are a lot of uh, you know life-giving cards, uh, pretty much a very uh, positive deck to play. And then we have uh, the Norse religion, which is the mythic of power, and he embodies everything: damage and you know just really devastating attack and powerful gods. You know, really into war and things that are gonna you know valor and just all that sort of stuff and then finally we have the the mythic of death who is the egyptian god now not death in probably the way that people view it as oh death but more death as a, a, a reward when uh the way that the story progresses is that these mythics were created these storylines and when they became too full of hubris a dark power came and destroyed their myths and with the last bit of energy that they had left, they recruited a mortal champion to go into each one of the timelines and fix the myths that have gone wrong. So for the Greek, we have Prometheus, the story of giving fire to man. And basically in our story, he never got to give fire to man. Zeus crushed him down, so men never took over the land. And then we have in our Celtic, uh, St. Patrick never defeats the evil god Kramkrach, who is sort of like uh, the leader of the underworld, the over the, I'm sorry, the other world is what they call it. And then we have uh, Osiris in the Egyptian myth, who was killed by his brother Set. And you have to help Isis, his wife, gather him together again so he may be reborn. And uh, finally we have our Norse myth, which is Loki. And what happens in that is Loki puts a curse on all the gods in Asgard to forget that Odin is king of Asgard. And Loki takes over and turns it into a police state. And you have to sort of get all these gods to remember that they're the ones that are supposed to be in charge and that this is a good place. So it's kind of a great way to go through all these different myths and learn all about it while playing a game. So, so that's very cool. And one thing that they also mentioned to me yesterday was part of your Kickstarter campaign is to actually fund uh, a historian. You guys right. want to make this as accurate as possible, which I think is very impressive. Um, and you're going to have information um, about the history on each of these cards. Yeah. Um, one, of the, the, one of the really important things to us is that this is not just a game. But this is a compendium of mythology. That's why we're going through the extra effort to make sure that we are historically accurate. The cards are not just creatures that we've made up. They're not just spells that we've made up. These are the things that 
are part of the cultures, part of the ancient cultures. The creatures are directly from the myths. The spells are these things that these creatures would really have done. And the places are, are the places that you would find either in the ancient cultures or in the myths that they believed in. So yes, the, the historically significant, it's not just a game, but it's something of uh, historical significance. It captures these things in a way that we, we haven't seen before. So that's, that's very cool. Um, one thing that really impressed me yesterday was also talking about the scale. Um, the scope of this game uh, is larger than their other three projects, uh, and that is that they plan on at release having uh, 400 cards, is that correct? That's right, we plan on having 100 cards from each myth line. Okay, that's very cool. Um, so you have uh, 100 cards from each myth line, and obviously as a collectible card game, there is future for expansion and oh, all yeah. that as well. Actually, it's funny that you say that because as we're working through our ideas for the games, we come, we have, our, we know what our expansion is going to be like, and we're super excited for the expansion. It's, it's a crazy twist on the whole storyline. So there's absolutely expansions. There's an unending wealth of information with all these mythologies. So these guys are thinking one step ahead. That's really cool. Um, the scope 400, 400 cards at release, historically accurate in dealing with the myths that you know are actually part of the cultures. Uh, this game really impressed me, guys. I think there's a lot of effort and a lot of heart going into it. It was really, really great meeting you guys. Um, so when is this app available? Our scheduled release is October of 2014.